Okay, so on today's episode of Techno Dad, we're gonna take a old computer and make it into a server. All that coming up next. Okay, so let's look at today's project. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this 2011 computer and make it into a server. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're probably going to use Ubuntu, but uh, we'll also check out a few other things uh, uh, such as free NAS and NAS for free. Uh, those are also very good depending on what you're looking for. Uh, so let's go over the specs here before we open it up. So this is a 2011 Pavilion. Uh, it's a P7-1010 here. Comes with a F1 uh, 645 quad core processor, so that's pretty good for this time period. Uh, six gigabytes of RAM, a one terabyte hard drive, also has a DVD burner, which we'll probably take out, maybe put a hard drive there instead. Uh, comes with wireless uh, LAN, BG, and N, and it also has a 10100 Ethernet card. And we'll probably add in a one gigabyte Ethernet card to make it so it's as fast as possible on our um, network. So very good. So next we uh, next we'll go in and we'll open that up and we'll see what's inside and see what we can do to improve it. Okay, so let's open it up. See what we have inside here. There we go. And so right off the bat, we see our quad-core processor. It looks like we got a few dust bunnies we need to blow out if we have the time. There's our six gigabyte of memory, uh, just that one terabyte hard drive, but we have space for a couple more. It looks like here, one uh, small uh, two and a half inch hard drive, two bigger ones here. There's our CD-ROM, and here we have a, looks like 250 watts, uh, power supply which we'll see if that can hold up it's pretty old here so so what we'll do is what the plan is here that I have is we'll put in a one gigabyte uh, Ethernet card there I have a second hard drive we can put in here right away uh, we might put a a uh, SSD in here uh, to make just make the thing go faster probably take out this hard drive and maybe replace it with a couple more or this uh, CD-ROM or DVD drive and replace it with a couple uh, hard drives here because we got the room and so that's the plan so let's get to work so what I did is I ordered a few things since we last talked so one is I got a gigabit Ethernet card off of eBay uh, I believe this is a Dell one it came from Texas. Uh, then I found a terabyte hard drive that I wasn't using. This came was out of a uh, a portable hard drive. And then also we ordered some memory. This actually was also off of eBay. These are two four gigabits, big gigabyte uh, sticks of memory. Came from China, so we'll have to see if they work. So we have eight here plus our six here. That gives us 12. And the minimum requirements for free NAS are, is eight gigabytes. So we got that covered there. Okay, so why don't we get started? So first we'll put in that NIC back here. Have to take off that plate. And let's stick this in there. stuck on something here there we go we'll put this back in First thing done, and so now we'll work on the memory here. So again, here's our Chinese memory. And 
got to make sure it lines up with the slots there. snaps into place. There's number one. I always feel like I'm going to break the motherboard when I do that. And okay, there's number two. All done there. And next we take out the hard drive. We have to take out these two screws and change to a Phillips head. Okay, and then uh, what we do is we press this button right there, and this whole tray slides forward. Comes out. Put our hard drive in there. And oops, coming out there. So now we're going to put in some screws do it so you can see it. There's four screws that have to go in. There's number one. Number three, and number four, so very good. And so now we don't have uh, power, extra powering, or a cable. So luckily, I have these on. This is a power splitter, so I can add it on to one of the extra ones, there's one right there. Give power to our hard drive. Just want to use that one. What's that going on? Check to see if the pins are bent. Okay, so let's try this other one here. There we go, that one's going out a little easier. Oops, and we knocked out our other cables here, so we gotta put those back in. And hook up our hard drive. Okay, there's cable number one. And cable number two. Now of course where I have to hook up this up, the header on the motherboard is right underneath everything here. So let's see if we can over to this side. Uh, if I have to upgrade this power supply, I will definitely get a modular one. That will be easier to hook everything up there. So, oh, there's this nice orange, orange one right there. Very good. 
then we just slide this on in here. Make sure it's going the right direction. Okay, nope, that one does not want to stay in. The cables out of the way, Get everything back in there. Uh, you notice it's not the best cable management, but right now we're just seeing if everything works. There it goes, snaps back into place. And let's put our screws back in here. Oops, just don't lose them. screw in. And, oops, not quite there. There it goes. Okay, two screws in. So we got our second hard drive in, a gigabit Ethernet port. Uh, we added in eight extra megabytes of RAM and we're all set to go. So what we'll do is we'll hook this up to a monitor and see if it works. Okay, next time on TechnoDad we'll start up that computer. Uh, in the meantime, you have a great day and like and subscribe and we'll see you on the other side. <laughs>